En la audiencia ciudadana para la desclasificación en el National Press Club de Washington, D.C., el 3 de mayo del 2013, sorprendió a todos una entrevista reveladora a un exagente de la CIA anónimo que tiene pocos meses de vida y antes de morir habló del Área 51 confirmando que ahí está la nave de Roswell y otros ovnis y también seres extraterrestres, los llamados grises. El investigador Richard Dolan realizó la entrevista en un lugar no revelado en Estados Unidos el 5 de marzo del 2013. Prepárese a observar y a escuchar a detalle las palabras del exagente de la CIA, por qué decidió revelar públicamente la realidad de otras inteligencias que nos visitan. I've got probably a few more months, so that's kind of why I'm kind of going along with the interview at this time. Primero debemos establecer cuál fue la carrera militar que lo llevó a la CIA. Was in the drafted into the military and got into the U.S. Army. After that, I was sent to the Signal Training Center. In Eastern United States. What year would this be? 58. I went through the signal training course. And at that time, I went through the radio teletype course and also the cryptography course. Como experto en mensajes ocultos, su jefe lo invitó a pertenecer a la CIA, investigando para el presidente Dwight Eisenhower. And he said that I'm director for the CIA for Eastern United States. And I said, oh, I didn't know that. And he said, you weren't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> And I got my CIA card. Ya en la CIA, trabajó en el proyecto de investigación OVNI, El Libro Azul. My boss filled me in on Project Blue Book and what they had found so far, as far as... Uh, Grays and aliens and, and the Roswell incident. Una declaración contundente que confirma esta realidad que fue ocultada. At that time, the Project Blue Book thing kind of went pot, you know. If you remember, back in those days, they kind of declared it as a nothing, you know. En 1958, cuando usaba nombre falso, su jefe le dijo que investigarían para el presidente Eisenhower. Escuche con cuidado. Going to be part of the Eisenhower push. He's trying to find out something about all about these aliens that MJ-12 was supposed to find out, but never did, never sent back reports to him. El Majestic 12 en el Área 51 investigaba en secreto los OVNIs, pero nunca informaba al presidente. Por lo que el exagente de la CIA fue llamado por Eisenhower a la Casa Blanca. Went into the Oval Office and Eisen, President Eisenhower was there and Nixon. So he said, uh, I want you and your boss to fly out there. I want you to give him a personal message. El mensaje de Eisenhower era que le informaran sobre las investigaciones OVNI o que iba a invadir el Área 51. He says, I want you to tell them, whoever is in charge, tell them that to get in, they have this week, coming week, to get into Washington and to report to me. And if they don't, I'm going to get the first army from Colorado and we're going to go over, we're going to take the base over. I don't care what kind of classified material you got. El exagente de la CIA viajó al Área 51 y conoció las naves extraterrestres. And in these garage door openings, they had like different saucer crafts. The very first one had uh, the... Uh, Roswell craft in. Ahora ponga toda su atención a la descripción de cómo era la nave de Roswell. Well, the Roswell craft was really strange. 
because it looked like real heavy aluminum foil. <laughs> we could rock next to it, and you could rock it. The whole thing probably weighed 150, 300 pounds. Afirmó que descubrió el código matemático de la fuente de poder de la nave de Roswell, que funcionaba con gravitación inversa. Yeah, it was a, like a reverse gravitational thing of some kind. In fact, one later on, I got, I got the, the uh, mathematical code for recursive gravity. It was kind of crashed up, but apparently every alien that was in a diet except for a couple. Reveló que existen varios tipos de extraterrestres de los grises y los describió a detalle. This one looked a little bit oriental. No, it didn't look human as far as the skin tone and basically the shape of it and the size. Brain was kind of a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and some of them nose was very, very small. And ears were just like holes. Mouth was very small. Now, why were they bringing you out here at all, anyway, to see an alien? What was the point? To go back and tell the president they actually had one. So he did not know at this point no. if there was an alien no. at S4? No. El ex agente de la CIA informó todo esto al presidente, quien se sorprendió tanto que prefirió guardarlo en secreto. Secretos revelados ahora en la audiencia ciudadana para la desclasificación sobre una realidad que ya no se puede ocultar más, la realidad de la vida extraterrestre en nuestro planeta.